Hello, my name's Rob. This is my GitHub 010 user. And let me show you first off what um, Windows programs I have installed, the features. I don't have any Hyper V. I don't have virtual machine platform enabled, nor do I have the subsystems. I would recommend, at least for the sake of the guide, that you do the same. Have it the same. This is a fresh version of Windows I installed. You can see here, virtualization is enabled. And I recommend either uninstalling BlueStacks if you haven't installed, deleting all the files, and then starting over, or just reinstalling Windows and starting over, which would be the final thing to do if you can't get past the, any issues you have. See, this is, a, this is Windows 11 fresh, downloaded it from the Microsoft website, installed it in basic configuration, and I have installed, we're getting ready to install BlueStack. So first off, you want to download Magix Delta. Okay, I just do stable, don't need anything fancy. Close out of that tab and download the basic install, installer for BlueStacks. And we're going to have to run it too because you shouldn't have it installed. And I'm just going to accept the default values because anything other than that, again, will cause inconsistency. If you guys do it exactly as, as I'm showing you here, there's no reason that it won't work. So we're just waiting for it to download the Pi 64 image. And then we're going to install or add a new instance for Android 11. What you guys can do, if you guys want Pi, NuGet, whatever, we can adjust the file naming conventions match. You'll see them later on here in the guide. Okay. Now, BlueStacks likes to install two additional programs, that is, BlueStacks Services and BlueStacks X. Both of those can be installed while it's finishing the post installation scripts or the app player, as you can see. Now I'm just waiting on the app player to finish installing. Okay, I think I. So now open up your multi-instance manager. Okay, you're gonna want to create a new instance to that one's Pi. You won't be able to delete it because it's the master, but it's one of the masters. So get the Android 11 image. Set your settings how you want. This is how I set mine. Those doesn't those won't affect the whole root process. Nothing you can do in the settings screen is going to affect the root. And then once it is done, I'm going to close out of this multi-instance manager because I don't want to have any problems with files being accessed. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the directory shown here, see program data, BlueStacks next, and open up BlueStacks config. Now I use Notepad++, so I'm just going to open it in that, however you could do, however you'd like to edit this file. Looking to for two different settings. One is the BST feature routing equals zero, changing it to one. Simple. The next is for the instance. And if you're running Pi, then it's going to be Pi 64. 111, you got RVC 64. So I'm looking for BST instance RVC 64 enable root access equals zero and change it into one, just like I have it right here in the guide. Save it. And then we're going to open up your file explorer and go into the BlueStacks engine that matches the instance name again. So Pi, it's Pi64, and R RVC64 is for Android 11. When you get in there, you'll see your VHDXs, but we want to edit, edit two different files. One's the android.bstk.in. Edit that, and there's two settings in here. And they're in the very very beginning ones for fast boot, VDI, 
I'm going to change that from read only to next to normal. And then the second one is for root.bhd. And again, that shows read only here. We want to change that from read only to normal. And you'll notice everything's normal. Save. Next file is going to be the rvc64.bstk. Same thing. Read only. Change to normal for both those settings. Now, in this file, for some reason, the read only has appeared before the rest of the setting, but it doesn't always do that. It doesn't really matter as long as it says normal there instead of read only. And then you just save it up. Save all settings and it will we'll move on. After we do that, we can go ahead and fire up the multi instance manager to start our start our player. I'm going to go ahead and go into settings and disable ads because I just, I dislike ads. So preferences, disable show ads, and I'm just going to save and close. And then I'm going to install APK on the right and double click install on the upper right and then and next in the upper right again, direct install modify system drive directly and then hit next and you see it's done. If you have any issues with this, you can just force close this app and then try the install again, only to the system partition. I went ahead and closed the emulator because now in the BlueStacks config, we need to change that second value that we edited, the uh, BST instance RBC64 Enable root access from one back to zero, save the file and close. That's all you got to do for editing files. So you're done. So now open back up the multi instance manager. I'll show you that super user has been installed or Magix Delta rather. And also it's installed right there. You have super user and modules enabled and the settings. Right there, you did it, good job. If you like this guide, give me a star.